Hello all, my name is Praveen. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Java Fun. Today we're going to talk about uh, prime numbers. So this is again one of the most frequently asked uh, Java interview question. Uh, first we'll find out what exactly is a prime number, how to implement the prime numbers program in Java and next we'll find it out how to basically modify that program uh, to find it out whether the particular number is prime or not using the Java 8 streams. Recently what I have seen is interviewers are combining the core programming knowledge question with the Java uh, Java language features as well. So most of the programming knowledge questions are basically they are using with the variation of you implement using loops and then they say once you are able to do it then they say you implement this using the Java streams now. So we'll basically today in today's lecture we'll see how to implement is using a traditional for loop and then we'll modify that program to use implement it using the Java streams as well. So Without further ado, let's start and find it out what exactly is the prime number. So according to a Wikipedia definition, prime number is basically a whole number greater than 1 and whose only factors are 1 and the number itself. So what exactly do we mean by factors? Factors are basically the whole numbers. If you divide using those factors, you will get the remainder as 0, which is it means that a particular number is uh, dividing uh, a given number fully. So one of the example of that uh, something which is not a prime number is suppose number 4. Number 4 is equally divisible by 2. So according to definition the prime number only has to be divisible by 1 and the number itself but in this case number 2 is also dividing number 4 so that's why 4 is not really a prime number. So something which is a prime number, let's say in this series we'll pick up 7. 7 is only divisible by 1 and the 7 itself. So if you pick any numbers other than 1 and 7 like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you'll still get a remainder, non-zero remainder uh, when you try to divide it. So that's why uh, 7 is a prime number. No other number apart from 1 and 7 can divide it. Okay, so with this thing in mind, now let's see. Uh, if now the another confusing thing for the candidates is whether one is a prime number or not. So one is neither a prime number nor a composite number. So uh, if someone asks you to print the prime number sequence from let's say one to zero, uh, then don't include one into it because one is not really a prime number. So what will be the algorithm uh, if I want to devise it to find whether the particular number is prime or not. So given a number, basically we need to loop from let's say two to number minus 1 because 1 and the number are basically uh, will be able to divide your number and get the remainder as 0. So that's why we don't need to include 1 and number itself into your loop. So if I say I loop from basically 2 to n minus 1, I'll, I'll get one boolean variable uh, while I am running my loop and I'll use the index as i for my um, loop and then we'll say whether the n mod i, n is your basically a, a given number and they'll see n mod i if you get a remainder as 0 then it means there is some other number who is able to divide your number fully so then the n is not really a prime number is prime become false end of loop uh, you run it while end of loop and if that is not the case then the prime uh, then, then the number is basically a prime number so you can print it out. So basically this will be our algorithm. Uh, we'll try to implement it using traditional for loop first and then we basically change it to uh, execute it using the Java 8 streams. So let's see how we can implement it. We'll get the number as input from the user. So and we'll use the Java 8, uh, sorry, Java scanner class for get reading the console input. So let's say I ask user, please input the number for prime check. Okay. And I say I initialize the Java scanner object say new scanner and basically it needs a 
standard input stream as an input into its constructor. Now let's get the number. Let's read the number from the console. We store it into a variable called as number. Scanner dot next int. Now what we need to do is as per the algorithm, we basically loop from two as we discussed earlier. Loop from two till i less than number minus one because number itself by itself can divide uh, himself so we don't need to and here is i is equal to two and divide himself so we don't need to basically include a number uh, into your loop or the boundaries of the loop so now if this is a case what we need to do is let's say or i don't get a boolean we'll just print it out right then and there so I say, sorry for it, um, we'll check if i mod or say number mod i, number mod i suppose equals equals 0, then basically this is not really a prime number. So what we will do is, let's get in boolean inputs and we'll print it out afterwards. I say it is true. Okay, here if it is remainder is zero, then is prime. Basically, this variable becomes false, and we break the loop. No need to loop further. Okay, now after ending loop gets end or breaks, what we'll do is we'll again check this is prime variable and we say if it is a prime sorry I say sys out we say number is prime here we say number is not a prime number Okay, let's see if this works first and then we'll modify this to use the Java 8 streams. Okay, I say input would be suppose 6. 6 is not a prime number. That's correct. Let's run one more time. Now I get uh, 3. 3 is a prime number. Okay, so this is working fine. Now, how we can modify it to, to run it using Java streams. So now I know that loop basically I can use it using an int stream. So basically Java it provides you int long streams basically. So because we are dealing with integers here, we'll we'll get an integer stream basically int stream, and we need to run it from two to the limit minus one basically right so uh, and c is exclusive so we don't need to do limit minus one here so we just give a number uh, so what we say basically is i say starts from two and run till the number which is basically the end is exclusive and then we basically find it out whether anything basically matches or there should not be anything matching this particular predicate predicate is nothing but a boolean something which returns a boolean condition so uh, inside this lambda my condition would be t mod uh, basically uh, or, or a number mod sorry number mod t t is my index if it is equals equals zero if none of those matches uh, for it basically then what we need to do is this will be our predicate and this will be giving us a boolean uh, result back so what we're going to do is we just put it in a if block 
what I am saying basically is if this if block holds true then what I am gonna do is I am just gonna print that number is prime else number is not prime which is exactly similar to what we have done so let me remove this and then we'll see if this works or not okay let's run it I'll put the input as suppose 7 7 is a prime number that's correct and let's run it for something which is not prime let's say 4 4 is not a prime number okay so this is working fine so that's pretty much it from this particular program uh, there are some other variations of this prime number series uh, I have created into my channel please do check out its playlist as well I am going to check in this code and put it into my github account and I will put the link into the description box uh, if you have any comments suggestions regarding my explanation style or how I teach please uh, give your suggestions that's pretty much helpful uh, please again do like share and subscribe this particular video we do bring a lot of these kind of series uh, into our channel so that anyone who is giving a java interview it will be beneficial for them so again thanks for tuning in thank you so much